hello good morning today we will discuss about the application of Kirchhoff's law and uh, the first question I have taken is assume that there is a cube curl structure made of wire that means this is a wire this is a wire this is not a solid cube but the edges are made of a wire and each edge or this piece of wire or this piece of wire is identical in length and identical in resistance so all have the same resistance and I have marked this A B C D E F these are the corners of that cube and our target is to find the equivalent resistance if current enters to this point and it leaves the cubical structure from this one so this is the entry point and this one is the exit point now I must mark these pointers now coming back to the marking I have marked the edges as A B C D E F G H you know that in cube there are eight corners and each of these arms have the resistance small r all are identical now this is a simple problem i have taken this one you can assume different resistance in different branch as well when you will advance now we have to worry about the current flowing in each of the branch for that there is a very simple trick now suppose the current will enter into this point then it will get divided into one two and three sun but they are not same mind you this the current which will enter and follow this path has to face less resistance because only small r is there and it will reach to this point this is the exit point this one is the entry point but when the current will move to this path then this has to follow at least one two three it it will take three step to reach this point at least mind you maximum what can happen one then two three four five six seven that would be possible or you can say one two three four five so different direction is possible that current while coming to this path it may take different but suppose I am taking 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 steps are there similarly for this current which will move in this path 1 2 3 4 and 5 so 5 and 7 2 possibilities are there so in these two branches we will put the same amount of current because the path of minimum and maximum you can say 1 2 and 3 Mac minimum is 3 and maximum is 5 or sometimes 7 if we take the different path so we will put the same current in these two arms but we will put a different current over here okay let me mark it for you now I have marked the current so I have assumed that X will pass through this one whereas y and y current will pass in these arms so from conservation of or the point rule or the junction rule of Kirchhoff's law we can say that the current that will enter to this point will be so the current that will enter is 2y plus x y plus y and x and the same amount of current will leave this circuit because from conservation of charge it has to be now we will look into the further situation suppose the current will reach to this point then from this point it can take one to this path that means in two steps it can reach from this point H or it can go one two three four or it may take another path so the amount of current moving in this direction is different from the amount of current moving in this direction so in two steps one two some amount of current will pass let mark this as Z so 
so for two steps the amount of current is z now again the same amount of current y is reaching to this point and from this point b one and two two steps are required and the current resistance is identical so in this direction we will put the z current as well now here again at this point which takes at least two steps i have put z in this direction so y is reaching to this point and z is moving out so remaining current is y minus z now same y minus z y and z is going moving out so remaining is y minus z so these are meeting at point c so y minus z and y minus z is meeting at this point and it has only one path left out so let me mark the current first now you can see that 2 y minus z will pass in this direction now when it will reach to point d the from point d the exit point requires 1 and 2 step 2 and then again 1 and 2 two steps are there there are other ways as well if you will look at this 1 2 3 4 like that then again the same will apply in that direction so what we will do that we will look at the shortest path and the easiest path because it has already the current z so the current of because of this we won't come in this direction so simply we will divide the current in two paths either one two or one two so two steps are possible and two y minus z is coming to this point so it will be equally divided in two directions now here this two y minus z is equally divided y minus z and y minus z when this will reach over here y minus z this z is meeting up so the remaining current which will pass in this one is going to be y similarly this y minus z is coming to this point and this z is meeting up so the remaining current which will pass through this branch is going to be y now you can see that all the currents are marked all the red colored are current and there are 12 edges so we simply count them 1 2 3 4 then 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 and 12 so the current is divided now we will solve this further